I fished fly similar to this for a long time, like a long, long time, probably 25 years ago I first started fishing with something like it, um, and it's morphed a few times, it was just a cow dung fly, a bit like a half hog, however, I've got it to this stage now, which seems to work better than the rest of them, um, I've got black legs on this because when I tied it, I never had any of the orange that I like, I prefer orange legs on it, people would say olive, but trust me, orange seems to work better. It's um, it's not a, a difficult fly to tie as long as you've got the right stuff, and that's that sort of cow dung, greeny olive, deer hair, and that's the key to this fly. Um, aye, an absolute topper when fish are on terrestrials. I prefer it for upland lakes, locks. Sorry, no lakes. Um, for brown trout, however, it will work extremely well for rainbows as well. And this small size, this is a, a B175 size 12. I prefer it on a heavy hook because I can actually pull it on the top dropper and fish it just under. So, let's go ahead and tie them. Like I say, I start off with a, a 175 size 12 in the vise. Thread is like Cahill, you can use olive. This is on my bobbin, so I'll use it. I'm just going to come down to opposite the point of the hook there, and I've got a size 12 pearl miler. If you've got thinner miler, just use this. Just It's a lot easier with thicker stuff, you know. So I'm just going to catch that in. Now you can use a little bit of varnish, however, because I'm doing this that tight on here, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to come down and overlap in terms just round the bend, no more. Coming back up, again, nice tight overlapping, and then just lock off. That's my pearly butt section of the fly. Simple. I've then got this stuff, and I use it a lot. It's a, again, that weird colour, cow dung colour, it's a light olive green colour, seals fur, it's, um, I use it a lot of bugs for grailing as well. So what I will do is, because I'm tying with this stuff, oh, the tennis elbow and it's absolutely killing me, I'll get a little bit of wax, get this stuff bound on. It's not the best for dubbing. Keep your your rope nice and tight. And I won't stop. Give myself some space at the front. Stop there and build a little dam. Uh, a bit of Velcro. Pull some of that out so it starts to cloak the pedal. So I've already got this stuff in the hair stacker. Here, ready to go. And typically I just I try to pull half of that out and half I got stuck. Just do that again. Give the noise. That's better. Get rid of some of the flowing stuff that's on there. Do you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself there. Stick that back in the stacker. Legs. My orange legs. Now what I do is people get all fancy with like so many of this side and so many of that side. I take a clump of legs, probably about ten in there. I come in on the underside of the hook shank and I just marry them up. Take a couple of loose wraps and they are loose wraps and then for there I can manipulate get the legs where I want them. Like so. Make sure I'm happy which I am. And then under my scissors trim all that away. There's my legs, contrasting colour. Right. 
back to the deer here. This is the tricky bit. So I've got all these aligned. Grab them in a winner. And you want the hair covering the back end of the fly. So I'm probably about a quarter of an inch behind that. And I'm going to come in. I'm holding them tight. Come up and down in a pinching loop. Up again. I'm going to pull up the way. Pulling up, 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 up. You can see the, the fibres moving there. Up with my thread. Down. I want to get three really tight turns in there so it splays. And then I'll pull a little bit back. A little bit back. Make sure you're separating it right. A little bit back. And just keep doing that, working my way to the front of the fly. Tiny little bit more. Make sure I've got the split right. And then finally, right to the front of the fly. Create a little dam there. And then with my whip finishing tool, fishes fly on its own, or fish it on the top dropper, um, create a disturbance. I really, really like it. It's one that works really well. I've got here a very, very sharp blade, and I'm going to come in, hold my stem up, and I'm going to come in just like I would with a, like an elk hair cardis. I'm just going to come through the hair to the good stuff, like that. So I've got a little dent on the front. So when I pull that, it's got to push some water. Just to finish him off. God, he's going to want tennis elbow, I tell you. Absolutely crippling. I'm trying to get a lid of a bottle of varnish. So, just get your deer hair out of the way. Couple of little touches. And that's him. Dung fly hopper, dung, ho dung fly deer hair dry, dung fly whatever. I'm not sure what I'll call that. I just used to call it my dung fly. Um, there's one with black legs. But you see what I mean, it's just got a, an absolutely banging profile for fishing for wild fish and reservoir rainbows. I really hope you enjoyed that folks. If you did, please be kind enough to subscribe to the channel where there's plenty more fly fishing and fly tying videos. Take care folks, bye bye.